So what is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Um, this is my 2000 MR2 Spider right behind me. Um, it's really, really dirty. It's been raining like crazy here in Washington and all this coronavirus stuff and nobody's out on the roads and I'm in my usual spot trying to stay away from people and everything. But I posted a QA. and a It's my first Q&A so I got a ton of questions. I'm so happy. I didn't really think I was gonna get that much to be honest. So I'm just gonna go through some of the some of the ones I have here. The ones that are on my Instagram, these are the ones um, that I'm gonna talk about. So the first question, how did you start your channel and why? Um, basically, I started this channel with my Honda Civic Si EP3. I had a different channel before where I was in middle school and I tried to... Um, I'm almost about to drive, so... I want this car, it's the MR2 Spider. I'm gonna choose post like vlog stuff, entertainment videos, but I realized it wasn't really my thing. So once I got my car, I started, even before I had my license, I had my car, because my, uh, was right, right, right when I had my permit. And so I started making videos on my Civic Si EP3, trying to modify, I modified the car like with the weirdest parts to be honest. But you know, that's how we all look back at our old projects and you know, it was okay. Um, overall, it was a fun car. I learned so much with that car. Glad I made the mistakes I did on it because it taught me a lot. Um, and so I started posting that and you know, the Honda community is pretty big so I got, I got a good amount of attention. I got to like 1k I think um, with that car, um, maybe 1.5 before I sold it. Um, so that's why I like did it. I didn't do it for any of the money, I didn't do it for the fame or anything but you know now I, my channel is getting bigger and I'm starting to really um, get a lot more uh, subscribers on my channel so I'm really happy about that. So thank you guys so much for your support, everything um, helps so much. And now I have the whole merch thing and everything's awesome. Next question is Honda or Toyota and why? To be honest, I don't really get divvied up by a brand very much. Um, I like my Hondas, I like my Toyotas. Um, actually, if anything, this is a Toyota MRG Spider, and I want to K swap this car because I think K motors are really strong, especially like a K20A2, K20A. Uh, probably wouldn't do a Z3, but you know, those motors, K24, like, I would do something like that um, because. I like the Honda engines. I honestly think that they're better than the whole 2ZZ and everything because the 2ZZ, they're pretty fragile compared to K motors. K motors can handle a lot more um, without building them. So I would probably do that. I don't really have a preference, so I can't answer that question. But you know, I like all brands. I don't really do it by brand, I do it by like the actual car. So hope that makes sense. Well, 225s in the rear on stock body clear. And by the way, the rear end on your MR2 is my favorite. Thank you so much. I love the rear end. People say it looks angry. Um, I love it, to be honest. It's unique. I haven't really seen it. There's not many mods for the rear end. The whole wing thing is pretty normal. Tearity lip is pretty normal. But the bumper cut with the rear bash bar and the diffuser, it looks awesome. And the bumper exit exhaust, I love it. Um, 225s in the rear. Um, on stock body, you could probably fit it if you get like a... Um, you roll the arches a little bit and you do a like a 15 by 8 um, plus 35 or yeah plus 35 would probably fit I had a 15 by 8 plus 35 on 205s and I had plenty of room in the back I honestly could have added a spacer I had like negative 2 degrees of camber so keep that in mind you probably want negative 2 degrees of camber in the rear anyways so 225s would probably fit just roll the arches in the rear for sure and you can fit 205s in the front um, you need camera bolts though. What motor's in the car? If it's the original motor, do you plan on 2Z swapping it? Um, the motor's in the car right now is a 1ZZ um, FED, so it's a 2000 uh, post facelift motor. It's from Japan, so that one doesn't burn as much, and I got it for like 500, 600 bucks. It was uh, overall a pretty good price, and I got it from a buddy, and um, I did the engine swap myself in my garage, took four days, one for removal. 
one for cleanup, one for put in, and then one for diagnosing, making sure everything was good, putting all the fluids in. Um, do we plan on Tuesday swapping it? Kind of talked about this earlier. I do want to case swap it, if anything. So um, that's what I really, really want to do with it. Um, yeah, so thank you, Austin, for your um, comment. I own an MRS and feel like they're underrated. Do you agree? Okay, well, I'm glad you own an MRS. Um, MR2 MRS. Um, I'm glad that there's some people out there. Um, yeah, they are underrated. Like, they are pretty ugly, not gonna lie. I modified mine to how I like it, but I know it's not the best looking car in the world. So it's definitely unique, which I like. I always like unique cars. Even with my EP3 Civic, um, I thought it was unique. Yes, I feel like they are underrated. Um, they're, they handle great. I mean, they're no Lotus or anything, but you know, they, you get the whole characteristic. You can learn mid-engine. They're fun. They autocross well. You know, I daily drive mine. It sucks sometimes, but a lot of times it's really, really fun. So, one thing you change about the original factory design of the Spider, not engine, the exterior. <laughs> like, it's not bad, but it's, it's not good either. So, yeah. Oh, if you had a budget of 60k, would you buy a car for 60k, or buy a cheap car and tune the, with the rest? I would buy a Lotus and a modify it. So Lotus at least succeeds, you know, I would modify it. They're less than 60K. Um, that's my ultimate car. What made you buy a Mark III Spider over a Mark I or Mark II MR2? Um, Mark I, my dad actually had the AW11. He had a supercharged one. That one, it's too old for me. Um, couldn't really find a clean one. They're all rusted. Didn't really want to drive an 80s car. Um, SW20, awesome looking. Probably my favorite looking MR2. Um, that's the second gen, but little sketchy on the the chassis, you know snap oversteer. I This car is not too bad honestly, but I don't really want to die <laughs> And I daily drive it. So yeah, um, I got a mark 3 kind of the opera I wasn't really searching for a mark 3 it kind of landed in my lap when I was selling my Civic so it kind of just happened but I'm glad it did and you know now I ended up with this it. unique a lot of people have AW11s, a lot of people have the SW20. People don't really have this car, whether it's for the looks or not. I don't know, it's fun. Next question, who inspired your MRS build? There's, I'll post a picture right now of the first picture I saw after I got the car. Um, but also, when I was when I was younger, maybe eight or nine years old, I saw, um, a lot of you guys know, Mitch, Mitch DeRay, uh, I saw his MR2 on YouTube. This was back in maybe 2009 or something like that, 2010. And I just, as a little kid, I was like, oh my God, it's so cool, it's red. At the time, my favorite color was red. Believe it or not, it's not anymore. I just have a red car. But I just, I loved it. And I told my dad I wanted MR2. In eighth grade, I even have a video, I posted right here. I, was, I literally said, in a couple years, I want an MR2 Spider. I want this car, it's the MR2 Spider. I want to and I kind of forgot about it as I got older, but you know, it kind of ended up in my lap. My dad kind of pushed me into it. It was my money, but you know, he just told me like, hey, do you want to get it? And so I got it. Um, would you rather 1ZZ Turbo, 2ZZ Swap, or K-Swap? K-Swap. K-Swap. Uh, 2ZZ Turbo, pretty cool, but I just want a K-Swap. It's more expensive though. Why are you so hot? Paint the Lotus hood same color as the body and just leave the vents black like the actual Lotus. I was actually thinking about doing that. Actually, it's not paint, it's wrap, but I I would wrap the outside. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, that's a project for another day. It's a little hard to wrap and it's really cold to wrap right now. Have you already seen re Retro Mode, Retro Modern USA? Do you think it'll look good on at, on MRS? Um, oh, it's like the vent stuff. Yeah, I would like, yeah, I see a picture right here, Retro Modern. Those gauges look cool, it's like metal. Yeah, I, I would get that. Um, maybe in the future for mine, maybe like a black anodized aluminum or something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. How much did you did your new engine and install cost? Um, engine costed 500 bucks, install costed zero. I mean, the, it costed the fluids. I got all the mounting stuff um, from a buddy, so. What wheel setup, size width, offset, etc before and after putting the fender flares on. Before, I ran a 15 by eight plus 35 square, 205 50 15. Now I'm running a, uh, 15, a 16 by eight and a half plus zero offset with a 20 mil spacer in the back um, and stock in the front. And then negative two degrees of camber, so it hunkers it down a little bit. Fitment's pretty good, doesn't rub at all. 
uh, 205, 45, 16. I definitely want to go up to 225 or 245 in the future, but I just wanted to make sure it didn't hit the fender flares. Thanks for your question, by the way. Why the fuck do you have the Maddest MR2 Spider? I'm gonna tell you, thank you so much. You like the MR2 or the EP3 more? I like the MR2 better, to be honest. Um, it's more unique, it's more fun, better than front wheel drive. Dream car, Lotus exceeds your Lotus Elise. You know, I'm not really going for any of that Ferrari, Lamborghini stuff, I just want that. Any plans for a hard top or do you prefer the convertible one? I'll probably get a hard top, maybe like a VIS one or something. Um, but yeah. Engine mods, I have the OBX 421 header, OBX downpipe, custom exhaust in the rear, and that's it.